My neighbours listen a lot to heavy metal. This morning they were up to four o'clock in the morning listening to it and then I turned my stereo off. Welcome to Shaven Butcher. And that joke was from Frank Stromberg at Wech Shaving and Stuff. Thanks, Frank. Mail call and a pretty, pretty cool one. Um, a few days ago, a huge box arrived from America to Matti Lindholm. It was sent by Marion Hickson, Marion the Barbarian. And in it was some goodies for yours truly. So three fantastic American soaps. First one is from Spearhead Shaving Company. This is bergamot and sandalwood. Um, tallow based. What is that? I should work out what the what the CH3 that's ammonium and it's sodium and it might not actually be something but it looks smart. Yeah, and it smells like bergamot and sandalwood, so cool one, looking forward to that. And then this one that Frank used, because uh, he got one as well. This one is Sorrento from Moon Soaps. Moon Soaps have been uh, is used a lot and people are ecstatic about it. Really cool labeling and a nice smelling soap. Slight if you've been to the Caribbean and enjoyed a fruit punch, it's exactly what it smells like. Beautiful. And then finally, Southern Witchcraft, another one of those new artisan brands that uh, get a lot of a lot of love. This is Pomona, and the scent notes are apple, honey, spice, and red wine. It's a tallow soap as well. And it smells like nothing I've smelled before. It actually smells like red wine and some other stuff, such as apple, honey, and spice. But uh, that's what we're using today. We're using Southern Witchcraft and Pomona. So cool stuff. Looking forward to that. The brush is going to be i i gotta use the laugar one again so cool isn't that the ball brush ball brush who wouldn't want to use a ball brush okay so this soap is is quite soft so yeah we'll see we'll we'll do a bit of swirling around with this lovely brush see if we get any soap onto it. So I know nothing about it. I'll add a teeny bit of water to get more soap out. It's a new thing. Yeah, feels like, feels like, what does it feel like? I know what it feels. Let's see what if it feels like that when it gets to the face. Holy smokes! This is some. This is some fancy stuff. <laughs> this is gonna be nice. I can tell. And if I can tell, you can tell, right? Is that gonna be enough? I think so. Um, yeah, what does it remind me of? Quite a few American soap. It reminds me of, oops, put a bit of water in the middle there. Mm. Grooming department. I've had one grooming department soap and I really liked it. Now it's just toothpaste. Oh, oh, oh. So hopefully I loaded more or less correctly and not too much because this is going to require water. Agua. 
aqua water. Did you watch my my interview with Nina from Laugar Soaps? If you didn't, you should. Please do. Cool soaps, cool company, cool lady. I really hope she. I mean, she's off to a good start. This is her job, you know. She makes soaps for a living. Oh, that's a tough industry, tough business. So she quits her normal, she, normal job. I was going to say normal job. She's never had a normal job. She worked on ships. She's worked on all kinds of stuff. She, she was a cook for four months on an Antarctica for some. Uh, okay, just keep adding water for some. Um, expedition there cooked for 60 people on antarctica for four months she had three days off <laughs> so she's used to doing crazy stuff making shaving soap it's one of the craziest things you can do yeah cool smell not not a smell that just knocks you out it's there but it's not okay there we go. So that was bound to happen. Good thing I had pants on. Are you still with me? Ah. How did that how even now? Okay. That's live TV for you. Well, it isn't live <laughs> when you watch this. So TV with um, with children, animals, and mobile phones on car car uh, what's it called car suction thing stand mount car mount. It's interesting. A bit more scent the more water I put in it, which isn't strange. Yeah, so, I mean, is it fruity or, yeah, it is fruity. But it's fruity in a, in, a, in a cool way. Yeah, more scent now for sure. So, you want to think about how much you load before you, <laughs> before you, before you load. This is a big knot. And it eats up a lot of uh, a lot of soap. Badgers are lather hogs. We know this. Hmm. Absolutely fantastic. It's like clay, a bit like clay. Um, I don't know if there was clay in it. I don't have the ingredients here. Um, but you know, it has a lanolin, you know, kaolin, uh, clay sort of feel. Beautiful. There's shitloads of lather in the brush, which I am not effectively getting, getting out there. But it's such a stupendous lather. Oh, it feels fantastic, but it's one you've, um, you know, it lathers up easily, but you, I'm pretty sure you want to work it and get it to the consistency you want to really, to really enjoy it. I'm painting so much water into this. Can you see it's translucent again? Hmm. Yeah, I can go on and on. I probably shouldn't, but I could. Low battery as well. Are we going to end this shave? I don't know. But how cool is it of Marion to send this across? Wow. What a, what a man. What a gentleman. Marion the Barbarian. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to think of how we can repay you. Or a little bit. You're too generous. But we like it. But it's important to give back. 
We'll have a think about it. Okay, that's watered down properly and there's so much, so much lather left. But I don't want to make it too thick. Mm. Lovely. Can't put this down, so I'm putting it in the jar. Quite a difference to use uh, to use really really high end American soaps. There there's something about them. Um, I'm not saying it's always better than something European, but there's a there's a distinct you know you can tell it's American somehow. Is it American? I think so. Feels American. We're shaving with uh, Hashimoto, Japanese razor with Swedish steel. Gold hearty. Gold hearty. Don't know what that means. Voila, here we go. I was watching Paolo shave today with an anaconda from Yori, a dart racer. That is a cool racer. And he's such a cool shaver. Not a lot of straight racer shavers. I watch just to enjoy how they move the racer around. It really is cool. And I know compared to him, I'm, I'm just a clumsy elephant. Okay, so I'm, I'm not doing anything. There you go. Yeah, I was trying to bang the lather off of Weck yesterday on video and someone said it's quite quite like making air quotes on radio. Didn't work. This did. Lovely, lovely feeling on the skin. We are not surprised. They make quite a few soaps, I think. So, I mean, people have moon soap weeks and southern witchcraft weeks and so forth so i think these are fairly new contenders but they have a nice selection which is cool which is really, really cool. <clears throat> I was thinking, but I forgot, I should be wiping the blade off, like a lot of straight razor shavers do. Because even I get annoyed when there's all of a sudden water bursting, and all the noise. Although, Keeps you from falling asleep, doesn't it? You know, I should do that. I should grab a... Huh? I may not do it every time, but I will do it today. Voila. A bit of ASMR. Got this razor from Oscar Protiva. I've also honed it and it's lovely. I mean, Japanese racers are, are cool. Nothing fancy, you know, typically uh, plastic, black plastic scales, nothing dramatic, just elegant in its simplicity. And so damn, so damn good. Shit, this is, this is some good soap. Uh, Want to see if we can shave on residual? Let's do a bit of shaving on residual. Haven't done that in a while. Let's see if it works. I 
Oh yes, it does work. You have to pay a bit more attention because you can't really see where you've been. The guy that usually hones my racers, Niklas Gudmundsson, he, he was saying, ah, it's time soon to... Oh. I cut myself. Soon time to shave with kitchen knife. I said, I hone one up and send it to me. I'll do it. I never tried that. Yeah, works just fine. Works just fine. A little bit boring, so. And this leather is so nice, so I'm putting it on there. Like cream. Like cream. Uh, did I rinse it? I did, didn't I? Damn it. And now I have soap on the hand. It's chaos. Well, chaos is a strong word. It's disorganized. I shaved my the, the left hand of my face with my right hand and I shave hang on I shave my my right the right side of the face with my left hand. At the beginning I thought that's what you were supposed to do because I'm not very good at paying attention. I know you had to swap hands. <laughs> But I swapped the wrong way. But that became my my way of shaving, and I do prefer it. And I tr I sort of tried to swap, but I find this more more natural. Because I uh, just confines me. You can do it any way you want. A lot of people shave with just one hand. Which I could do too, if I wanted to. I just don't want to. Okay, I remember not to rinse one more time. But isn't you guys who, um, who wipe your razor off, that's a lot of, it's a lot of washing up. Is it washing up or yeah, washing? You have to wash the towel every time, don't you? And I shave every day. And a lot of you have your special shaving towel. Do you have like seven of them? Enlighten us, will you? This is going fairly well. Okay, I almost rinsed the razor off, but we won't. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how to do a, a live shave on LinkedIn. Does anyone have experience? Thought that would be interesting. We're done Instagram and Facebook. But I haven't done LinkedIn. I'm sure my business contacts will be impressed. Yeah, do a drunken shave while I eat pizza on LinkedIn. <laughs> In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Okay, let's see what that feels like, shall we? It's this soap is everywhere. It's so incredibly slick. Oh, and it leaves such a creamy, 
soft feeling on the face. Up the nose. Yeah, that feels pretty good. It's hard to get off. Probably don't need an aftershave. I'll get one anyway. Let me rinse down here for a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. <clears throat> cool freaking shave. Cool freaking soap. Southern Witchcrafts Pomona. Stay sharp.